I'd like to introduce you to the concept of an inline model. And to do that, we're going to start with um, uh, what appears to just be uh, one old P tag inside of HTML. And you can see it's a P tag. It's got a bold in it. It's an, got an italics in it. It's got a link in it. Um, and it has other text in between the bold, italic, and link. So the question is, how would you model something like this in a schema? Um, and in order to do that, let me rearrange it a little bit so that it's a little clearer what's going on inside this P tag. I'm going to take all the children and really line them out in a hierarchy. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that, and then that, and then that. Whoops. That, 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 and now this even I'm going to do, and that, that and that uh, and finally that now we can see it more in an outline we can see that each one of these this is a sentence the B and uh, the I the A etc those are all children of the P tag but they're all different kinds of children this first child is called do you remember text node the second is a child element and this child element has a child, which is a text node. The third child of P is a text node. The fifth child of P is a text node. And the seventh child of P is a text node. Meanwhile, this A has a child attribute and it has a child, uh, it has a child text node as well. So we have a P with text nodes mixed with child elements. And by the way, if we wanted to put an attribute on this P, that would be OK too. If we have P style. Equals blah 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 whatever. S T Y L E. My head's always way ahead of my fingers. There. So now we have a P tag, and it's mixed. That word mixed. Keep that word in mind. It's a very important word in this context. The children of the P tag are mixed between attributes and elements on the one hand, and text nodes on the other hand. So if you think how you would how you would um, model this in XML. It's not straightforward right off the bat to understand how you would model this in a schema. Um, you would say you have a P, and what's the child of a P? Well, the child isn't a, just a text node. The child isn't a B. It's not an italic, although Bs and italics can be in there. It's not a sequence of Bs and italics. It could be a choice of Bs and italics. And by the way, an unbounded choice, right? Because I could certainly do this. And now I have two I tags in there, so it's not a it, it. So how many I's and B's and et cetera I have in there? So it's a relatively complicated um, modeling task until you get the idea of um, of how to do it. And once you get the idea of how to do it, you'll see that um, it's relatively straightforward. So um, let's go from this starter instance to the real instance that I want to demonstrate. It's the instance that we used um, when we're talking about uh, indexes. And there's a part of the uh, of this instance that I didn't talk about when we were um, uh, working with indexes, and that was the sections and how the sections work. So we have a sample, we have a tag sample section. It has a child section that has a child body, and the body has an unbounded list of P's. So here we are back in the P, and now I can do the same thing to this P tag, and I can break it down into its children, and we can see again that. It's working in a very similar way to that P tag I just showed you, with one small exception. In this P tag, uh, actually, let me find the one. Sorry, I wanted to find one that had ones that have. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just uh, I'll just create them. There's an I tag in here, and here's B tag in here. Okay, so now in addition to those I's and B's, there's also some tags that are less immediately understandable. Um, and those are the index anchor tags and also the keyword tag. You can see a keyword tag here and an index anchor tag. Um, the point here is that just because it's a P doesn't mean that it can only have HTML-like children. We have a mix here of HTML-like children, the I and the B, with non-HTML children. We have formatting tags, the I's and the B's, mixed with semantic tags, the keyword and the index anchor. That 
that word metadata doesn't look like a keyword. That doesn't determine its formatting. That determines what it is. That word metadata is a keyword. Okay, so here we have another P, and that P is mixed between elements. Um, it can also have attributes if it wants, um, and it can also have um, child text nodes. And in fact, if you look at this keyword element, the keyword element actually works the same way. It has a mixture of attributes. Here's an attribute right here and text nodes. This keyword tag is mixed. This P tag is also mixed. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's go over to the uh, 